Welcome to another Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion video. So yesterday I did talk about the official translation that we got from Nintendo of America that gave us some description of what to expect from the story in the Octo Expansion. And pretty much what we learned is that Agent A, she watched the boss battle from Splatoon 1 the Squid Sisters, it turned her into a good Octoling and now she wants to go to the surface. And as I pointed out in that video, it is very similar to what has happened to Marina. So pretty much what I want to quickly do in this video is talk about why I would love to see more of Marina's backstory get featured. I would love to see like Marina's journey, maybe whilst she is helping Agent 8. Maybe she could talk about what happened to her through her journey from going to the Octo Canyon to Incopolis. Because that seems to be happening in this Octo expansion. It seems to be following Agent 8 from going to Octo Canyon to Incopolis. So I'd love to see Marina talk about her journey. Or even better, I'd love to see cutscenes of Marina struggling her way from Octo Canyon to Incopolis. So... I think there is an opportunity to go more in depth with Marina's backstory but I think to balance it out you're going to have to give more backstory on Pearl as well but I definitely feel like now that they are going down that route of Agent A she watched the Squid Sisters performing it turned her into a good octoling with good motivations she wants to go to Incopolis there is definitely an opportunity to explore Marina's backstory you know, with this Octo expansion and I'd love to see that either through dialogue between Pearl and Marina or dialogue between Marina and you, Agent 8, whilst you are playing through the missions kind of like how Marie, she drops a few lines in the Splatoon 2 single player here and there. I'd love to see that, you know, whilst you know she's talking to you, giving you advice, I'd love to see her talk about what happened to her while she went through that journey but I love it if Nintendo did actually do cutscenes, but I think the more likely option is that we would learn more about Marina's backstory through stuff like Sunken Scrolls. Now, it hasn't been confirmed that Sunken Scrolls will be a thing within the Octo expansion, but I definitely feel like there is a possibility that they could return, or maybe they will return in a different format. But, yeah, I definitely feel like there is an opportunity to explore Marina's backstory, and I would be disappointed if they didn't do it within this Octo expansion. So I think we will get some more details about the backstory of Marina. And I think they could go proper in depth. I would love it if we did see like Marina flash back to what happened to her past. And we got to see some cutscenes from her past. I would love it if that did happen. But I think what we will get is what we have got before in terms of the law, And we will get it in text form and not in like cutscenes. But yeah, that's just my ideas. I think we could see more of the uh, Marina backstory that we haven't really seen before. I think they could go more in depth because of the route that they are taking with Agent 8 and this Octo expansion. So let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below. Do you think Nintendo will go more in depth with Marina's backstory? Or do you think they will just leave it how it is? How we've just got that sunken scroll from the Splatoon 2 single player. But... Yeah, because Agent 8 and Marina, their stories are very similar. I could definitely see Marina doing some sort of like flashbacks and we get to see cutscenes or we get to see dialogue explaining more of Marina's backstory. So that is pretty much it for this quick little video. And yeah, we'll see you next time.